Now, live, Southern Colorado's only National Edward R. Murrow Award winner. This is Fox 21 News at 9. Thousands bringing more color to downtown Colorado Springs to celebrate the second day of the annual Pride Fest. Good evening, I'm Rachel Welty. Thank you so much for being with us. We have more on the event now in tonight's top story. This is the 23rd year of Pride Fest, celebrating gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender pride. Four times the amount of people attended this year's event than in past years. They also had the first 5K of the annual celebration. Fox 21's Sam Baranowski joins us now with more on this story. Sam? Well, Rachel, downtown was certainly a lot more colorful this weekend. The day started with the Big Gay 5K, followed by a one-and-a-half-mile parade. Many gathered to celebrate who they are or to show their support for equality. Thousands expressing their pride in the annual parade. It's amazing how many people are actually out here. I wish I could see this every year. I wish I could have gone to years past, too. They're representing their desire for acceptance and also their support for one another. Seeing all these people out here just... And lifts the load off your shoulders. Corey and Clayton are enjoying the event as a couple. Seven months, and then it'll be eight, eight here in a little bit. They're also enjoying the positivity they're surrounded by. It's nice to not be judged by anybody, and it's nice to be able to just break out and come out. While every year the event is a celebration of diversity, this year's turnout showed a celebration of change. We have become a city that is, is accepting and kind and thoughtful, and this is a really great moment for us to be out here celebrating together as a community. Even local and state politicians putting agendas aside to focus on the community. We now understand putting people down just because of who and what they are doesn't make any sense and so we need to stop doing it. A few protesters express their disagreement with the gay community but Moore says more events focused on acceptance would be good for Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is in the economic doldrums as the rest of the state pulls out and part of that is because we have this reputation of if you're not one of us, you're not welcome here. What is one of us exactly? You know, there's all kinds of us. Let's have everybody here and we can cover the ground from A to Z and all live happily ever after. This year, many attended to celebrate civil unions becoming legal. A mass ceremony was held for couples with civil unions. Pueblo will also host their pride celebration Sunday, August 18th at Mineral Palace Park. Rachel. 